Hi everyone, in this video, I will be showing you how to connect House Pro to your QuickBooks online account. First things first, we are going to come over to QuickBooks just to verify uh, some features are set up and settings are turned on or off. The first thing we want to check is over here on the far left, we're going to come down to taxes and then sales tax. So your automated tax center will need to be set up uh, regardless of if you collect tax from your clients or not. We require this to be set up in QuickBooks in order to integrate. And this does need to be the automated sales tax center, which looks like this. We've verified that. So now we will come up here to our gear in the upper right corner. And on the far left, it will be under company settings or account and settings. We'll click that. The first thing we are going to check is under sales. We want to make sure shipping is turned on so that automated tax calculation happens properly in QuickBooks. We will then come down to expenses right here and make sure purchase orders are turned on. Now, if you are opting to not uh, sync purchase orders from House Pro, you can turn this off. Or if you are on QuickBooks Online Simple Start or Essentials, you will not have this option as those uh, tiers of QuickBooks subscription do not have purchase orders. Lastly, we are going to come over here to Advanced. And very important, we want to make sure everything in this automation section is turned to off. I also come down here and where it says warn if duplicate check number is used, I also turn that off. So once you do all that, you can save and click done. Now we are going to come over here to House Pro. We will go to settings on the far left. And then right here under integrations is QuickBooks. Once you get to this screen, you'll see tax agency, which we all already verified, uh, the automation settings, which we already verified, and then purchase orders, which I talked about. So you can simply click connect, connect to QuickBooks. It will prompt you for your QuickBooks online account. If you are already logged in like I am, it should just uh, connect for you. Otherwise, it will ask you to log into your QuickBooks account. And then we'll go ahead on this screen and click connect. And once that's done, you'll see your dashboard. And then the very first thing you want to do after connecting is update your mapping, which you can find in our other uh, training video. But here's your mapping. You can get that all taken care of, including product and service mapping and then come back to your settings page and adjust your historic sync date. 